Hi guys. Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, sweet soul. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Thank you for the flags, guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's lovely to see all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and support. Hello. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for all the flags. Save the bees. Yes. Okay, for those of you that are asking me um, what the flags are about, um, I get that question quite often and that's okay. Um, so the flags are for my Save the Bees campaign. It's a series of pictures that I released in hopes to raise awareness about how important our bee population and culture is to the human race period all over the world. It doesn't matter which country you live in, um, somehow bees affect pollination and how you obtain your food and um, other supplies and trees and all of those things. So it, they mean a lot to me because they're so miraculous for their body. They actually should never um, leave the ground or be intended to fly because for their sheer mass and the size of their wings they don't match and should not be airborne but yet they are they do the impossible and they're such an amazing part of our world and they're so small so i absolutely love them so um that people sending me their flags means that it's reached their country my save the bees campaign has reached their country and um, they send me their flags or the name of their country to let me know that they're aware of my message and that they intend to spread it just as I hope. Thank you so much, you guys. That's amazing. Okay, so it's lovely to see all of you. Um, yes, I know I see some of your messages. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? How come I wasn't answering? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, so I actually missed some of you guys, a pretty good group of you guys, between um, Friday and Saturday because I was in the hospital. Um, I had, I have pneumonia and um, I had to go be tested for carbon monoxide poisoning because um, I was so lethargic that I wasn't even able to like stay conscious. So I had to go to the hospital and be tested and have like all kinds of like oxygen therapy and stuff like in my nose <laughs> it was intense I had to do like breathing treatments and all kinds of stuff so um <laughs> it was not the funnest experience but I'm super happy that I'm I'm feeling a little bit better today I'm just happy to be here with you guys because I was a little bit worried but um I'm happy that I'm here and I I'm feeling better so for those of you that are asking me where I was on Friday and your messages and all that I promise I'm just trying to catch up um, whenever I miss a day or two, I'm so busy that it's really, really hard for me to catch up and get back into the swing of things once I've missed an entire day of not answering people and all of that. So I promise I'm going to get to you. I, I swear I will. Okay. Um, let me start. Hello, sweet soul. It's so lovely to see you. Hello. All right. Hello. Okay. It's lovely to see all of you. Hello. All right, let's start pulling people out of the audience for Tara. Let's see who's going to be our lucky number one. I'm seeing midline, so let me start here at the beginning. Hi guys, hi. Oh, hello. Hello, my goodness, sweet soul. It's so lovely to see you here. Hello. Hi. <laughs> All right, you're my first one, Miss Vanessa. You're very, you're very, very first. If you so wish to step back, that's all right. 
And if you're not here present and you don't know that I'm even reading this to you, I send you your message later after the reading. So that's okay, because sometimes I'm reading and people aren't even present yet, so that's okay. <laughs> I'm being given the number five in the shape of a star and a crescent moon. <clears throat> These are significant to you. These are sacred shapes. Okay. And this is your card, the hermit. Oh my goodness, if this doesn't say a thousand words, huh? <laughs> okay, the number nine. The Hermit. The color of this card, I promise, is blue, but it looks kind of purpley on here. The color of this card is indicative of um, communication and your throat chakra. I know I have pneumonia, but it's totally closing up my throat chakra. I swear it's not me. It's not my cough. <laughs> um, <coughs> pardon me. I'm so sorry. I still have this yucky cough, and that's why. But I promise I'll try to not let it get in my way. Okay, so it says, find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. Oh my goodness. Yes. Um, absolutely. So um, right now I feel ground zero. <laughs> Remember I said star? A star came forward that was significant to you. There's a star right here. Right on your card. This is synchronistic for you. Synchronicities are ways that the universe communicates to you through signs, signals, colors, numbers, no letters, um, specific types of flowers, things like that. The universe will repetitively bring those things to your attention. Um, the color yellow is indicative of the healing that needs to happen around the solar plexus. There's a lot of stomach issues, a lot of anxiety, a lot of um, acid reflux or a lot of pressure like in my chest like I have like um, indigestion or possibly like a gallbladder issue or something like almost like sulfuric I feel like whenever I eat certain foods it doesn't react properly with my body and I get really really ill really sick a really bad stomach ache and then I'm super just drained and like depleted after that um you have food sensitivities that you're not aware of yet or if you are they're recent and you aren't really sure that that was happening um I feel like there's like a rash or something on the back of my arms or like I'm really super itchy back there and it's like irritated because this is a sensitivity to a food that's um manifesting itself through your skin I feel like it possibly is gluten or um some su there's some sort of substance in like this white flour that you're consuming um after you eat like white pasta or white bread that causes you to have like an irritated like itchy skin or like irritated stomach or something like that like you become inflamed and when that happens that tells me that what i feel inside right now is an irritation from my diet from um consuming something that does not agree with me. Um, aluminum, I feel is like making my mouth very sensitive or like my teeth or my mouth is going to be feeling numb or my lips are having this weird sensation. I don't really, almost like I put lip plumper on or something and my lips feel weird whenever I touch certain substances like certain metals and stuff. Um, this is definitely a sensitivity your body is having inside. It's a reaction to your outside sources. Um, there's ways that can naturally bring those sensitivities down and that can bring you to a less <sighs> you're absorbing a lot of energies and it's really hard for you to filtrate through your system. Um, and a lot of that has been allowed in through other lower vibrational activities, but that is no more because as of now, you have the ability to change that and you can start from the ground up and there is no more going down. We're going up, we're going forward and there's nothing else to look back for because we're going forward. Use your fairy wings to fly. Use your wings to get up and move forward. Um, I'm sorry, they're giving me message again. Okay, so the hermit, they're wanting me to comment on the word the hermit. This is very much you. You have so much social anxiety that I feel like it's kind of hard for me to, um, my body feels like it's almost hard for me to even go to the grocery store because I'm afraid that I may um, actually invoke like a panic and attack or like I'm not going to be able to breathe or like I better be prepared because if not, then this may ha I may have like a small freak out in the middle of like the grocery store or something. Oh, sweet soul, I feel you. Um, I've been there before. Um, whenever I was sick um, a few years ago, that was very much my reality because of my neurological disorder. Um, it caused me to have a very heightened sense of anxiety. And now I know 
what I know energetically that I was absorbing other people's energy whenever I was going out and about and not being able to filtrate what was my energy and what was their energy. So I just had all of this anxious energy with me at all times coming from all different angles because those energies knew I could see them and hear them and they just wanted me to, oh, we just want you to love us just like we know that you can love everybody else. But that causes you anxiety and causes you to be nervous to go in crowds and to be in public and you have to have some sort of barrier there to make you calm enough to be able to tackle that task. There's so many beautiful natural things that can be done in order to accomplish that same thing. So if you're interested and that's something you wish to divulge down that path and you want to kind of go around the more natural approach of things, then I would be more than willing to work with you always. Um, and there's never any issue there ever, okay? So if you would like to reach out to me for help, please let me let me know that. Um, this color that she's wearing of her garment underneath this blue robe here, this color is pink. It's indicative of unconditional love and your heart chakra is seeking the ebbs and flows of love. Um, this blue garb she's wearing here and this blue of her staff is letting you know that communication is being... Um, is being invoked here we are there is communication that's a little bit um between a, a lot of different angles right now but there's three people in particular that is raising my attention right now that is very specific that it's like constant static and they're just not understanding or hearing what I'm saying and I just don't feel heard or validated and it really hurts my feelings and kind of makes me sit back and think like I am telling you outright what I'm expressing and it's not coming to fruition like I thought it would and that's not the reaction I intended it to be so I want you to start with intentions start with the way that you think about how you're going about things start approaching them with these people are going to hear me with all the love and and the unconditional love behind what I'm saying and the compassion and the caring and the empathy behind what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to convey to them so they know that it's heartfelt and that it's really honestly truly me telling them that I care about them and that I love them and that I want them to do their best in the best way that I understand how to do that. And that's such a beautiful thing. And the blue here with this beautiful ball of light is indicative that once you've said what needs to be said and gets that off your chest and you stop holding on to that and stop suppressing that, that pressure on your chest that just is constantly there that you just can't seem to take a breath and get rid of, that is going to be gone. That that elephant on your chest is going to get up and walk off and leave you be and you're going to feel so much better because light comes after that. This is your stability and your staff and you're lighting the way. Just be true to who you are and be true to what you really are and be true to who you are because it's beautiful. It's beautiful who you really are. Okay. Hugs and love, sweet soul. I'm here whenever you're ready, okay? All right, next, let's keep moving. Hello guys, hi, hello, 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 hi. Thank you for all the flags. Yes, Miss Tanya, save the bees, yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, hello, sweet soul, it's so lovely to see you. Thank you for being here, my love. Okay, you're next. All right, Miss Jessica Lynn. I'm getting the number seven. Okay. I'm being instructed to stack these in a very specific manner. Of course I am. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is your card. Queen of Winter. That's what I was going to have to talk about. Okay. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. Okay, so Queen of Winter, strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Those are all of you. All those words bring your face to my mind. Because um, you are very strong. You're patient whenever need be. And you go after what's needed. And you wait and allow the universe to deliver to you. Self-sufficient, absolutely, since you were young, of course, there wouldn't be any other way. And funny, absolutely, you are a crack-up, and I love to talk to you anytime. 
Um, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. There is a situation that is at hand that I feel has to do with either work or possibly like a shift into like a higher position or possibly entrepreneurship or like your own um, practice of some sort. Um, I feel like a licensing or some, some sort of practice of your own you're going forward with. And this is a venture that's kind of come not as a new thing, but something that is newly tangible to you and something that is actually pretty close to being to full fruition. And that's an actual reality that that could possibly be. Um, that's coming and there's other areas of your life where you're growing right now as well. I see like um, your love life is growing. Of course, I see um, multiplying here and um, you're you're growing in so many different directions and the universe is bringing you so many different advancements for your career, your love life and um, just family and communication in between um, all of your loved ones. Um, now is the time to focus on your career. Absolutely. That has to do with keeping focused on what it is that you're intending to happen because there's a few things that are varying in the way that are kind of getting in my path that I'm kind of like getting frustrated with. Like, why is this happening? These are actually not roadblocks to your dream and to your goal because you're using the law of attraction perfectly. You're very, very focused and you're very good about intending on what it is that you actually want and getting down to the root of it what it is that I need to manifest to make this go forward. And you're very, let's get this done. Let's go forward. Let's make this happen. And that's why I like you so much. And that's why we get along so well, because you're a go-getter and you're not going to let something come to you. You're going to chase after it. But sweet soul, you have to stop chasing for just a moment so that it can catch up to you and come back to you because you're chasing it so hard and you're focusing on it so hard and you're intending for it so purely that you're almost chasing it away. So stop chasing and stop giving it that reason to run. And then when you relax and kind of take a seat back and kind of just do something that feels good to you, do something that invokes joy to you and then it comes to you quicker. An inspired thought comes to you quicker and the steps to take go come next and it all falls into place. So you have to stop stressing because I know that you like to have control of A, B, C, D and all the way down to Z. But sometimes sweet soul, you can't have a plan all the time. <laughs> You can't have a plan all the time. You have to just allow and you have to let be so that you can let things into your world. And that's a little bit of a struggle for you, but it will come. So here, this fairy has crystalline thought here. Her crown is of all crystals. She's bringing positive thought process, which is clear with intention of exactly what it is that she wants. And she rides her sleigh there adorned with gold and sapphire and beautiful jewels indicating that you're on the right path and you'll get there in due time and you'll get there not a moment before the universe feels that you're ready so you have to just absorb every single minute until then enjoy it be grateful and just absorb all of the love and then it's coming very soon okay that big huge thing that you're intending for the anticipation brings it even faster so just invoke and joy just find your joy and and laugh. Laugh all you can, okay? Love and hugs, sweet soul. Okay, thank you for coming by and showing your love and support. I always appreciate it. Hi guys, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, yes, Miss Tanya, it's a pin. It is, hold on, what did I just do with it? It is, it's my blinging pin. <laughs> this is my special pin. I write in my books with this because this, make, this pin makes me happy. It has a big gigantic jewel on the top of it. And I got this for 99 cents. <laughs> and I use it like literally every day. <clears throat> and you get it from the Dollar Tree. That's where I got that from. It was a little a little thing at the checkout. I love it. Hi guys, it's lovely to see you. Yes, it is. Thank you guys. I see all your messages. Thank you very much for the love and support for that. Um, and please, no, 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 nobody needed to come and visit me in the hospital or anything like that. Um, I just needed to, I just was feeling very ill and thank goodness for my angel godsend of a mother because I was being so stubborn and not taking my own advice. And I was like, no, I got this under control. I totally got this. I'm fine. I'm just really tired. And it actually turned out to be that I needed to be tested for carbon monoxide poisoning. So um, that has come along with some things that I didn't really expect. Um, I've had neurological issues before and that's bringing some of that back, which is kind of frustrating to me. I do have to admit that um, 
I've worked really hard to be where I am now and be able to use the function of my hand and legs and all of that again. And having um, the shakes and like the slurring of my words occasionally is very frustrating to me to go backwards, I almost feel. But um, I'm not going to let it stop me and I'm going to continue on and I will make myself better. It's just a little minor setback for just a second. But please, yes, no, nobody needed to come and visit me in the hospital or anything like that. Um, I did my therapy. I did my treatments. Um, they actually had to kind of like bolus me with um, some fluids because I was actually pretty severely dehydrated because of that. But um, other than that, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I'm doing better. So thank you very much, all of you, all, <laughs> all of you guys for asking. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. I just, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't work those days or answer you guys. That just makes me feel bad because you guys just kind of thought I blew off and I would never do that. So just want you to know there was a reason and you guys are so sweet for offering to come and visit me, but I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, thank you so much, Miss Tanya. Yes, thank you. Okay. Love and support. Thank you, guys. Hello, sweet soul. It's so lovely to see you. Thank you so very much for being here. That means the world to me. Thank you so much for being here. Your love and support means everything. Okay. Sorry guys, I see all of you and I'm trying to get to everybody so I can fairly like go through the line, but there's so many of you like constantly tuning in that I, I'm losing you. I'm sorry. I love all of you guys. I swear. I just, I'm trying to get to all of you. Hi. Yes, 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 yes. Hello guys. Oh, hello, Miss Coda Martinez. I love and miss you. I can't wait to see you. We need to get together soon and we need to talk. You and I will talk soon. Message me, okay? I miss you. Okay, we're gonna, hold on, if I can find you again. Okay, Miss Coda, I'm pulling a card for you if I can get you to be still on my little prompter here. All right, all right, Miss Coda, let's pull, um, okay, the number three, you already know. He says hello, and so does your sister. She's standing to your right. <clears throat> yeah, that's her. Okay, this is your card. King of Autumn. Hello, sweet soul. I love you too. Hello, love. Okay. That's a, that's a busy card. That's a lot going on there. So give me just a minute. So King of Autumn. Compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and gifted. Oh, sweet soul, if those aren't all your words. Compassionate, that's you. Accomplished, yes, you're very driven. Charismatic and gifted, oh, you are the light and you need to own that. They are making it very, very, very apparent to me that I need to let you know that you wear this crown, you fix it, you hold your head high, and you sit up straight because whatever has knocked that crown to the side is irrelevant and significant, and you need to readjust it, and you are the queen that you are regardless of what anybody else's opinion about that is. You sit on your throne and you do it rightfully so. All right, here we have a dog. This symbolizes loyalty. What you need to know is that you need to have loyalty to your honest, true joy inside of your heart. That's what needs to be the loyal part. You need to be honest to that and serve only true to your heart and not what other people are insinuating or casting into your thought process because your brain has a really good mm, way of taking over what your heart already really knows it needs to do because your brain tries to make sense of what the heart is trying to tell it but it doesn't make any sense because sometimes the heart just does what it needs to here in its humanness because at a soul level, that's what needs to happen for our highest and best good. And sometimes that's a struggle and that's one of the hardest pills to swallow. But you have to follow your joy and you have to follow what makes you happy. Because if you're not happy, you can't love anybody else to your full potential. Okay. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way. A person or company, a good person or company to work for. Your intentions and your true, honest, genuine, heartfelt, um desire to have good for everyone involved and to spread your love and your light to everyone involved um, with the purest of intentions has brought that back to you and even though there was a time of struggle and a time of ups and downs ups and downs ups and downs and you're just like when is this ever going to stop and level out it's coming it's going to stop it's going to level out and you're going to catch your break you just have to keep intending that that's coming 
feel the expectant feeling in there like I'm explaining to you that you feel right here that you know it's coming you know it's already there you can just feel it it's right around the corner that's what you need to keep holding on to because the shift is happening right now um with a lot of different relationships between even if it's just friends if it's brother and sister divine masculine and the divine feminine are like shifting on massive levels massive um how do I put this there's different waves coming for both of them and that's allowing us to kind of separate a little bit and then come back together because we need to realize um we need to realize the importance of the others in our relationship whether that be romantically whether it be with siblings whether it be with friends cousins mother daughter it doesn't matter all of those relationships we really need to look at and see why we value them and what it is that's important to us if we were to lose that relationship what would we be missing what would we be gaining would there be um do we need to take a step back and see if that energetic exchange is still going to be the same if i digress and i stop giving my energy is that going to be the same maybe that's a test for you to see and maybe really uh utilize um your intuitiveness to kind of gauge what it is that you're feeling inside because I feel like right now like I said you're very confused about what your brain is telling you and what your heart is telling you to do always follow what makes you happy and what brings you the highest and best joy always you are loved and supported regardless um, from those who have crossed over you are constantly guarded and you are constantly being guided from your sister on um she stands by your side pretty much at everything you do um, she's coming forward now and she's, I'm sorry, they're giving me a message so fast. It's hard for me to speak and do that at the same time. Um, she's coming forward and letting you know that uh, for whatever reason, she's bringing forward the color purple here on this card. She's wanting me to point that out to you. Um, this amethyst here, she's wanting you to not only have that and carry that around with you as protection, but this is also a way to intensify the messages she's trying to get to you that you're not listening to. She's like, I'm trying to tell her, Stephanie, why she's sleeping and she keeps waking up in the middle of the night, but she's not listening to me and she's just doing this and she's not listening. <coughs> Excuse me. The amethyst will assist so that you can understand the messages she's trying to give you, okay? Um, waking up between the hours of one and four is her. So look at the numbers. And then if you want, whenever you look at the numbers of the time, send those numbers to me and I'll translate them for you for what the message is, okay? All right. Hugs and love, sweet soul. I miss you. I hope that you're doing well. All right. Hello, love. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, hello, love. How are you, Miss Jordan? How are you, sweet soul? It's lovely to see you. Hello. Hi, sweet soul. Hi, Miss Hannah. Let's pull your card. It's so awesome to see all of you guys. Thank you guys for being here. That means everything. Thanks. Okay. I'm being given the number nine, but I'm being instructed to stack this in a very specific order. your card. Seven of Summer. Get closer so you can read that. It's kind of small. So it says Seven of Summer. It's blue. That's indicative of communication. And my throat is a little bit um kind of like clogging up here. Like almost like I'm not having fluid communication. Pardon me. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. Um, this has something to do with your daughter and like you going back to work for either more hours or a different job and like you're not sure what to do with her or like there's some sort of like daycare situation or some sort of issue is happening here where we're like not sure where to put baby girl or like we're not sure how we're going to go from this job to the all of this is going to work out um you're stressing about something that has already been worked out and something that is already working out in your favor for that matter 
And so the more that you stress about it, the more that you're pushing away the solution. So um, please just know that whenever you relax and you allow and you kind of just start seeing all angles and all options that are coming to you, that's whenever you have a definitive answer of that makes more sense. And again, you need to follow your joy, not what makes sense in your head right now when the brain tells you to do with the money, but what's going to make sense in your brain long term and which one are you going to be happy going to every day what activity is this going to be that makes you feel um, fulfilled every day you're going to wake up and you want to do that that's something special that everybody needs to have and if you have the opportunity to have that you need to take full advantage um, because there's something that makes more sense logically and then there's something that speaks to your heart and sweet soul you've always led from your heart because that's why I just love you <laughs> because you don't know how to live any other way. And that's so beautiful because neither do I. <laughs> so I appreciate that about you so much. And I just love that and I adore it to pieces and it's so genuine and I just love it. So you need to do that. Live but for your heart because baby girl's watching everything you do and she needs to be a ferocious mama just like you. So you just hold your ground and you do what's right and stand up for what you truly believe is going to be right in your heart and everything is going to work out for you. Um, the universe is sending you signs and signals in the form of rainbows. Every time you see a rainbow or every time you see like a conglomeration of like, you see them all over, you're gonna start seeing them even more now. <laughs> so every time you see them, that has everything to do with the universe saying, we're giving you a wink, we like what you're doing, keep it up. My goodness, my nose is like, Ugh, it's itchy me, it's driving me nuts, my hair. Ugh. Sorry guys. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, hi guys. Hi. Sorry, let me clear off some of the screen because let me sorry. I'm starting to lose your guys' faces. Hi guys. Bye. Okay, so um some of you oh, hold on, what did hold on. Sorry guys. So some of you are asking me about my essential oils from last week and um Yes, I do that. Um, actually, what I do and how that works, because I, so I, your question is, okay, so how it works is whenever you're, um, whenever you either set up an appointment, and you don't always have to have an appointment for an angelic guidance or Reiki or anything like that beforehand to do your essential oils, because I think that's part of your question. You don't. Um, what I do is if you request either a um, customized um, essential oil, then I'll kind of like scan your energy from just how I do over, over tarot and all of that. I scan your energy or we can have a video chat and I let you know the ins and outs basically of what it is that you need to have in an essential oil or like a roller or what you need to have to calm yourself or to, to wake yourself up in the morning or because you're really stressed at work and you, you have panic attacks at work or whatever that is, or even in the car, I have things for all kinds of different, um, focus, alertness, having anxiety, having depression, you can't sleep, all kinds of different things I make mixtures for. Um, a lot of my mixtures have hemp in them. I also have CBD infused types of tinctures, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, oils. Um, and I have muscle rubs. I also um, do that for people that have chronic pain. There's a few people that I actually was just discussing right before I got on um, about getting some, getting specific rubs for, um, different parts of their body because they have inflammation or they have, um, some people have artificial uh, body parts that are, that give them issues. Um, my, uh, my mother actually has artificial knees that she has issues with sometimes. So she's somebody that I think about a lot whenever, um, whenever I think about people that struggle with chronic pain and stuff like that. So, um, so there's, all kinds of different things that I help with that the aromatherapy and essential oils help with. Um, so you don't always have to have an appointment. That was part of your question. You can just order them from me and there is a way for you to get them customized specifically to your energetic needs um, without having an appointment. So if you guys are interested in that, I would love to um, help you all with that. Or if there's something you're interested in helping solve, I can I can give you the, the tools for all of that. Okay. All right. Awesome questions, guys. Awesome. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Hi. Sorry, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, no, sweet soul. Please, no, Miss Molly. Don't apologize. It's good. It's fine. Um, 
I just, I just really didn't even think about it until people started asking me. I didn't even think to tell you, to be honest, but it's fine. I'm okay. I'm feeling better and I'm doing all right. So that's all right. Hi guys. Thank you. Yes. Save the bees. Save the bees. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Hello. couple more people if it's if I can get back to them I'm sorry there's so many of you thank you so much that's such an amazing problem to have that I can't even keep my spot so you guys are awesome I know you guys see me going back and forth because it keeps it keeps resetting me on my side so sorry guys ah hello sweet soul hello hello hi Ah, it's lovely to see you. Hello. It's been quite some time, Mr. Roberta. Hello, hello, hello. I will read your card next. All right. Okay. I'm being instructed with the number six to stack these, the number six. In a very specific way. Actually, your card decided to jump out at me right here. So, here we go. Justice. Eight. So, take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. I feel um, the word foreman comes to, comes to what I need to say. Um... Like you are, uh, this is construction, this is some sort of, this has to do with your career, what you do, what you do is career-wise. You are a foreman, you are in a position of authoritative figure or something like that. You have people below you that you're um, navigating or that you're giving instruction to. And in doing that, there ha is a situation that has come to fruition, that's come to the front line that has to be dealt with and there's people involved um it either has to do with work or this could be also in your personal life it's i see multi-balanced here on multi-levels there is um situations where there's two people involved and you're not exactly sure how you're going to make a decision here because you care for both of them and you see both sides and you're not really sure um what to do and I see like, I'm so confused. My brain is swimming and you've gone over the pros and cons of like doing both and thinking both and looking at both sides and you need to do ultimately what you, what your morals are telling you is right. And the justice part comes in because the scales and being even and being equal, um, the sword floating here is indicative of, um, these two fairies here having the pure intention to be able to lift this up out of the ground because of their honesty and because of their forthcoming and because of their true intent inside of their heart of leading justice from their heart. Their green on their clothes indicates the heart chakra and indicates the um indicates their true calling of them following the only way that they know how is leading with their heart and leading with their intuition and leading um intuitively because you you it's almost like you feel guilty if you don't do that you feel like you're not being true to yourself and that's very much about who you are about no I'm very upfront in your face and I'm very what you see is what you get and um if you don't really like that then sometimes be and you don't get along and you're a very kind person and I see that you're very fair so this is very important about um it's like it has to do with ethics and it has to do with I'm sorry, they're giving me a message so fast. I'm having to filter through that. I apologize. Okay. Um, all right, so the situation at hand is bringing up this maybe possibly with a sibling as well or somebody who's very close, like a cousin or somebody who like I said, is very close. You grew up with this person or you've known this person for a very elongated series of time, like a very long time. 
Um, and this has to do with like a root and sacral chakra shift. This orange, this orange color here has to do with um, where your root and sacral chakra kind of meet and blend together. And that is being shaken right now. Your root and sacral chakra have to do with who you are as a person, your moral standards, your ethics, um, how you were raised as a child, how um, like if religion was ingrained in your belief system or not your belief systems period that's where that's what lies inside of the root and sacral chakra so that those things are being shaken apart by indicative of the colors of the wings here are being shaken apart by unconditional love this pink flower here and that love is disrupting something in a decision process you're making and it's coming down to a moral decision and that's very very difficult for you um but know that no matter what you choose you will always go with what's right and what's intended to be will always be and there's lessons being learned behind the scenes here of people and events that have happened that you're not aware of so please just go with what you know is right in your heart and go with your intuitiveness on this decision thank you so very much for coming forward okay guys Hello, hello. Um, yes, 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 there is. Um, hi guys, yeah. Um, so there is another, yeah, there is more pictures, but it's for a different cause this time. So, um, those will be out within the next couple of weeks, but, um, not, not for that cause again this time. So there will be another cause that's coming. I just haven't released it yet, but there will be more photos for something different. But thank you for asking. You guys are awesome. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, so um, the blog, yes, I'm still working on that. I actually, um, I'm going to put this out there because I'm having a really hard time figuring this out on my own. So I'm going to ask you guys, if you guys have information, please come forward and let me know. Um, I'm having a really hard time figuring out a way to build my website because I've built my website um, like four times now and through all four companies that I had it, they either took it apart, um, took some of my pictures, took the rights back from it or took it back down altogether. <laughs> so at this point, I'm extremely frustrated. Like I have all of my social media, but no website and no landing page. So if somebody wants to help me with that, that would be greatly appreciated because I'm seriously lost at this point and I'm, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so somebody who is good and savvy with websites, please come save me. Um, <laughs> so I'm working on that. Um, I had another question I was just about to ask and now I just lost the message. Ah, I'm so sorry. Oh, um, the, my blog or people are wanting me to do a vlog. That's like numerous times I've been asked to do that. Um, I'm actually in the process of trying to make my YouTube presence bigger and I'm also trying to get a vlog up and going for you guys um, on a weekly or like every couple of day basis because there's so many people asking me for that. Um, I also uh, still enjoy your guys' suggestions. So yes, keep sending me your questions. Keep sending me all your suggestions for things you want to see on here because I always research them and either get back to you privately or if enough people ask me um, the same question, I'll usually get on here and address it because if I have something that's being addressed over and over, obviously more than one person's curious about it. So why not address it for the larger group? Um, and for those of you that were asking me what the red, what the pictures with the red are, that's MMIW, that's Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women. That's something that's very important to me that I'm a big advocate to get behind. Um, why red? Everybody's asking me why red. Okay, so red is um, indicative to most of the indigenous tribes, not all, but a lot of the American Indian tribes that is indicative for spirit to come back home or to um, find its way home or that that person is willing to help them. So the red hand over my mouth indicates that the spirits of the lost missing or um, um, missing women and children that have that their families are struggling. I'm here to help all involved so that they all can have a voice and be heard. So that's why the color red. I love that question. That's such an awesome question. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to read one more here. I'm so sorry. I feel like I have to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Hi guys, hello, 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 hi. Hi guys. It's lovely to see all of you. Say hi. Alright. Oh, 
just pull it down like that. Dang it, I keep losing my spot. Okay. Let's try this one more time. We're gonna get this, guys, I promise. We really are. Okay. Right. Right. Ah! Right, Freddy Rodriguez. Next. Three is what I'm getting for three. Oh my goodness, my nose. If it doesn't stop itching, oh my goodness. The Dreamer. They're like, right now, they're giving me this like inside joke. Like somebody used to maybe like make comments about you daydreaming as a little child or that you're a daydreamer or something like that. So they're laughing about that right now. Um, Your angelic counsel, when I say they, that's what I mean. Your angelic counsel is kind of like, ah, people used to tell him he daydreams all the time or something of that nature. Um, So... The number zero is infinite. This is continuous prosperity. Um, you have a very, very powerful manifestation um, ability. And you're going through a very, very major, this is massive transformation, um, or just recently went through something that's a massive transformation. Um, I feel like this is in so many different levels, career, money, financial, love, um, foundational, which is like parental or very close relationships that you have, like siblings or somebody who was very close to you growing up. Um, those are being shifted right now and that's okay because for most of them that's going for the greater good and that's going for the highest and best good. Some of those that were even like childhood relationships are kind of shaking away and shaking off for now. And that's okay because they'll come back if they're meant to be. And what is meant to be will always come back to you. Don't fear. Um, and this red cardinal here, this is indicative of passion that you have behind what you're saying to these people about these relationships. They are very, very um, special and important to you. You have um, here, it says, embrace your true purpose, begin a new adventure and trust yourself. You have a ways to go before you fully conquer what's going um, to ultimately be your goal, but you're already started on the road and you just need to shake off all of these other vibrations that are not necessary being individuals, relationships, circumstances, um, ways of thinking, habits. We need to get rid of the old stagnant that does not serve us anymore and allow us to elevate and continue on to better and greater things that are coming for us. Um, don't get lost and caught up in the um, anxiety driven thought of Oh, this could go wrong or we don't want to get caught there we want to get caught in the fact that this is just temporary and something else is coming that's better and this is going to elevate and it's going to make things better okay all right thank you so much for stepping forward sweet soul all right thank you guys hello thank you for all your flags you guys are awesome thank you hello hello hi okay all right guys so, um, I think that's all the questions that I had as far as like pictures and stuff from you guys. Um, and the essential oils, I think I answered all of those. And if not, please write on, write on here and let me know if you guys have any questions about any of that, because I'm always willing to help. Um, if you, if I read you this evening, it would be super awesome if you would, um, share my post so that I can spread my message of light, love, and healing to as many people as possible. And please, word of mouth is always um, your guys' validation and your guys' word of mouth spreading. My word is the most amazing way for me to spread my message to those who suffer from PTSD, anxiety, depression, chronic pain. Um, I help everyone with as many things as I possibly can to get you set back right on the vibrational path that you're meant to be on. So please, if I've helped you in any way, Please let somebody, all of your loved ones and friends know to come and see me, subscribe to my channels, follow me on my um, my social media, and don't forget that um, video chat sessions are available. So we do that. Um, <clears throat> we can do that through 
excuse me, I'm losing my voice. We can do that so that you can have your session even if you don't live where I am because some people are curious about that. That's never a problem. I do have a home office, but we can video chat as well. And the reading is just as accurate. Um, uh, and the, I do have other services. So you guys are asking, <laughs> you guys are asking about some of those. Um, I can private message some of you guys about that. All right. Thank you so very much for your time. I appreciate all of your love and support. I could not be here without you guys. So again, I will see you next week. Bye guys.